A high-level source said that the longer and more useful five-door Suzuki Jimny is made in the Gurugram plant in India and will be sent to Japan. Japan only has the three-door Jimny in narrow-body K-car and Sierra trims that people can buy. Maruti Suzuki's chief technology officer C.V. Raman told Autocar India that the five-door Jimny will also be launched in Japan, but in some time. This suggests that there will be a wider range of JDM spec cars. Suzuki had planned to sell the new body steel version in India, Africa, and Latin America. However, because people are so excited about it, Suzuki may look into selling it in other places as well. The five-door Jimny is 340 mm, 13.4 inches, longer than the global spec three-door model, measuring 3,985 mm, 156.9 inches, in length. This is because the wheelbase has been stretched, making the trunk bigger. Even though it weighs more, the Indian spec 5-door Jimny has the same naturally aspirated 1.5-liter gasoline engine that makes 103 horsepower, 77 kilowatts 105 PS, and 134 newton meters, 99 lbft, of power. Now that the fourth generation Jimny has been out since 2018, Suzuki should give the famous off-roader a new look as soon as next year. The car company stated in January 2023 that the Jimny would be fully electric in Europe. The official teaser showed a grille that lit up and new graphics made of LEDs. If you read between the lines, the EV's release could happen at the same time as a mid-life cycle update for the Jimny, which is driven by an internal combustion engine and is sold all over the world. The facelift might be able to be used on both the three-door and five-door types at the same time since most of their body panels are the same. Along with the electric version, Suzuki is likely to add a hybrid version to the Jimny's engine range, at least for places where electric vehicles are very important. Japan is one of those places. By 2030, Suzuki's range in Japan will have 20% electric vehicles and 80% hybrid vehicles. In Europe, the car company wants to have a mix of 80% electric vehicles and 20% hybrid vehicles by 2030.